Well, I, I, uh, I just watched that an analysis. I thought it was really, really a strong an analysis. And he was a lucky guy. I think he said that he grew up in western Pennsylvania. That makes him a lucky guy. <laughs> uh, but, but, uh, but no, um, no the, the reason why Clinton, she came up a little short is that she just focused most of her campaign uh, in Philadelphia and in Pittsburgh. She didn't really uh, move mar beyond those kinds of markets and those things. And then if you ignore a lot of those areas across Pennsylvania, you run the risk. Uh, of you know, people not showing up uh, for, for that ticket. And then that's what happened. And then he pointed out Erie County. Erie County, I've always described that as like the ultimate bellwether here in Pennsylvania, if not in the nation. And it's like I say, if you, uh, in 2020, I said, if I could only know one single piece of information, what would that be? And I'd say, well, tell me who who wins Erie. That's going to win Pennsylvania. And then that's the next president. And that's what happened in 2016. And that's what happened in 2020. And then I say the same thing where we are in 2024. And that's why, you know, <clears throat> whoever is going to win Pennsylvania you know, is going to carry Erie. And that's why we've been made that kind of an argument in places just like Erie and showing up in across all Pennsylvania. So it, it's going to be competitive and it's going to be very close. That's not an original kind of an idea. I've been saying the same thing since 2016. Could you conceive of a situation where you have one party win the presidency in, in uh, Pennsylvania and the other party wins that contested Senate seat? I, 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 uh, I, I, I mean, I, I, I do think I, I do think, you know, Casey's going to overperform Harris. Oh, and I, I do. I, I believe that. Uh, you know, K Casey has, you know, been well known and he really had the kinds of views or he never had this kind of energy that uh, makes a lot of conservatives across red counties really, really kind of angry kind of thing. Uh, I, I think most people, hey, well, that's Bob Casey. I don't have to agree on everything, but he is Mr. Pennsylvania and he's been around for so long. Uh, and, and that's why I do think that it's going to be he's fine. And I haven't seen any kinds of reputable kinds of polls that have uh, McCormick up. I, I think it's been several, about two, uh, two to three points at least. Senator Carl Higby, um, you know, Bob, Senator Casey also released some ads where he was supportive of working with Trump. And, and you've seen the, the lower than average turnout in Philadelphia. Do you think that uh, maybe there was a miss on, on the closing message for Kamala Harris that might be hurting Bob Casey there? I, I, I mean, I'm not going to criticize someone, I mean, their own campaign. Uh, but but I, I know it's I know it's going to be close and, and I would not be surprised. I will not be surprised if if Bob Casey, uh, he actually overperforms uh, than, than Harris. Uh, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if Casey, you know, he just moves on to his fourth uh, term through that. Yeah, you know, when Trump is on the ballot, it's going to be very competitive in Pennsylvania. I've said the same thing. Uh, and so uh, it's going to be closer than this this race than otherwise if Trump wasn't on the the, the, the ticket through through that. So um, I, I uh, honestly, and I don't say this as a partisan, I, I don't think uh, McCormick really ran a really effective kinds of campaign. Uh, but uh, at, at this point, uh, he's thrown a lot of money in this and he's counting on Trump to really uh, push a lot of the out uh, the outcome. But at, at the end of the day, uh, I do believe Harris is going to prevail, and I try not to say that as a as a partisan. Uh, I'll say that it's going to be incredibly close, but that's why I have always been committed to showing up in a lot of uh, Pennsylvania. That you know, it's very red places. I've always maintained that these red counties are very important. Uh, I would never say things like uh, they're in the middle of nowhere. It's like, well, it's that quote: they're they're somewhere. They they are important, and I've been going on these kinds of red counties. Uh, that your colleague showed earlier uh, on the map. It's like it might just be red on the map. That doesn't mean I would ever turn my back on them and make that argument there. And they're going to maintain that kinds of color on the map. Uh, but it's like important to have this conversation. I'm delighted to be on your network here tonight uh, and describe my honest take on where things are going to, to tonight. And it's going to be incredibly close. And that's because Senator there's both. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to. I, 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 I just wanted to thank you. you. Said you could be on our network. I, I wanted to thank you for on your network because and, and you and I have had lots of good discussions about Israel. And uh, thank you for coming out and talking about tonight about politics. And I want to, you know, I want to continue our discussion about Israel uh, as the weeks and months go on. Thank you, sir, for joining us.